So look what showed up back in the shop. Kevin sent me a text the other day. Maybe it was a couple weeks ago. He's like, I hope you don't mind. I changed the color of the guitar. And I was like, what does that mean? And what he did is he sanded off the top. And he went with a darker color on the top. He bought some Angelo Southern dyes. And went with a significantly darker color. And then instead of actually buffing this out, he left it satin. And to be honest, it looks a ton better. I really like the coloring. He did that with the back of the neck as well. And so even though as you're playing around, you think you may get it right, sometimes you don't. And I am totally cool with him actually changing the color. I thought that was pretty awesome. What we're going to do with this guitar over the next couple of weeks is actually put a new neck on it. And I've already been working on that. He wanted a mahogany neck, which I've already got done with a rosewood fretboard. We're going to put some pearl dots in here, get this on and get it back to him. He's going back into the studio uh, in about 10 days and I need to get this to him. So I've got the shallower tuners on order. I did the same thing before on this neck where I actually inlaid uh, carbon fiber rods. So this thing is really, really strong. It's amazing when you're carving mahogany how quickly it goes versus carving the maple. I was doing this yesterday and I was like, whoop, stop. I was able to use this gauge and feel out the maple neck to the mahogany neck. And he had one comment where he wanted the upper part of the fret carved out a little bit more. So I was able to use the gauge to check that. And it's got a little bit more consistent curve going up. Sometimes these flatten out on the fender necks just the way they tilt the bit up and route. He took some steel wool to the neck and sanded that out a little bit so you've got like a high contrast color scheme, which I think actually is really cool. It's always cool to see things come back and what people do with them. We left the back a high gloss, but I do like the darker brown. He used coffee and he didn't put anything up here. So we'll be getting this one done and out to him. And then this maple neck is going to go on a seafoam green body that I'm working on as well. I don't know if I'll have time to film all of this. Uh, got a ton of projects in the works here coming up for 2018. Almost too busy in the shop, but just wanted to get you guys an update on what's going on here with custom built necks and all the different things. If you don't hear from me every week, you know what's coming. So thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next vid.